Welcome to week three, day two of our prayer, fasting, and devotion. And again today, we are looking at our focus. Where is our focus? We take you to Deuteronomy 3, verse 15 and 16, or verses 15 and 16. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil, in that I commanded thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. As we begin to step deeper into this week of prayer, fasting, and devotion, we, we are on week three, as I said a moment ago, and as we get deeper into that prayer, and deeper as we are sacrificing ourselves, what we are actually doing is we are entering into a spiritual life of increase and we are doing this and we're obeying his commandments and we are starting more and more to listen to his decrees and his laws and to live by those and we are being prepared for spiritual prosperity uh, i'm not talking about uh, prosperity and, and getting all kinds of money and getting all kinds of houses and cars i'm talking about that i'm talking about a spiritual prosperity where we are gaining more of a relationship. We are getting rich in God as far as being deep in Him in our relationship. And, and so that spiritual prosperity, we are getting deeper. And I believe that we're going to uh, take the land that God has given us and the land that God has given you and given me is for our families, those that aren't in relationship with God. It is for them. And it's for our friends that we work with, our friends that we come in communion with every day, our neighbors. It's for every single person that we are around. And I believe if we would continue to have that focus and we continue to pray, continue to fast. And as I said yesterday, it would not just be a 21-day commitment, but it would be a life commitment. We would gain that spiritual prosperity, and I believe that that would begin to trickle off on the people that we have influence on. And so I encourage you today to take some time to pray that the lost that you live around, the lost that you come in contact with on a daily basis, those family members that don't know Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost, they don't know him in the fellowship of his suffering, they have no communion with Jesus Christ. I want you to take some time and earnestly, effectually, fervently pray for those individuals. We are getting focused, and I believe God's going to allow us to possess that land as we enter into a place that maybe we have never gone before. God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess it. We're going to possess that. I believe that. Jesus, today, I choose life. And I choose a life of spiritual prosperity. God, I want to prosper spiritually in the name of Jesus. I want to prosper spiritually that I may be an influence that you desire me to be. And by being that influence, Lord, we will possess we will possess our friends. We will possess our neighbors, Lord, those we come in contact with and be that influence, Lord, that they too will become focused. They too will become a disciple that lives wholeheartedly for you. I decree that I will demonstrate and my friends that are doing the same thing I'm doing, my brothers and sisters in the Lord right now that are focusing as well, Lord, that they will allow their devotion and I will allow my devotion, Lord, to be that hope and that direction that each and every person that I come in contact with will follow. 
And Lord, they will see that you, Lord, are my king. You are the king of my life. You are the life giver of my life. I decree, Lord, that I will purpose in my heart to invite others to join us down this narrow road. We honor you and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Join us again tomorrow.